Hello everyone, in this video we will see how we can create a time lapse in Adobe Premiere Pro but before that, let's roll the intro first. So in my last tutorial I have shown you how you can set your camera or a smartphone to shoot a certain time lapse videos. There are two ways you can make time lapse videos with your camera. Either you can take a direct time lapse video with your camera or you can take certain photos and take all those photos into your editing software and make a time lapse out of it. So in my last video I have shown you how I set the Sony Alpha 6300 to take photos for time lapse. Now in this video we will see how we can utilize all those photos to make a complete time lapse. So without further ado let's jump into the screen now. I will strongly suggest you to check my previous video first so that you have a complete understanding of what is happening here. So we will open the Adobe Lightroom first. As we have captured all the photos in raw formats, we need to convert it all into JPEG so that we have a flexibility of work. First of all, we will import all the photos. So I will select all the photos and import. This is going to take some time because these are lots of photos. So after the importing is over, you select the first photos and go to the develop tab. Now in this stage, you will do all the color correction and adjustment you need. Selecting the first photo, you do all the color correction first. For the demonstration purpose, I am just using a preset here. Now the preset is applied. After the preset is applied on the first photo, you take select the first photo again and go all the way to the end and hold shift and select the last photo. This will make sure that all the photos are selected. With all the photos selected, you press this right arrow in the right side of your screen and you get this adjustment tab. In this tab, you will find an option called Sync. If you press this, the synchronize settings will pop up and we will press synchronize. Now what it will do, it will copy the adjustment of the first photo and apply it to the rest of all photos. After the adjustments are applied to all the photos, now we can go to the export tab. Go to the file, export and here you will find some export option. Now these are pretty basic, you just make a separate folder for the exported photos and export all those photos into that folder so that we can use them without any hassle. Now the export process is going to take a long time because there are a lot of photos here and it will take time to make all the adjustment and export it out of the Lightroom. Now we will open the Adobe Premiere Pro software. After that we will jump over to the Premiere Pro and import all the photos we have. Now pay attention please, this is very important. Importing photos for time lapse is not like other importing. So what you do, you do a different thing here. You select the very first photo of your time lapse photos and check this image sequence and press open. So what this does, it takes all the photos and make a time lapse video for you. So you don't have to take all the photos into your tab and make adjustment individually. It makes time lapse video automatically for you. And I think this is the beauty of the modern post production process. Double click. You can see the video is not playing smoothly. It's because the photos we have taken is pretty high resolution. It's like 6000 by 4000, which is more than 4K, it's like 6K. So if your PC is uh, slow or if your PC is not highly configured, uh, this is not going to be played smoothly. So let's not make a big hole out of it. We'll just take this footage into our timeline. Once it is in our timeline, we are ready to export it. Now one tip here, whenever you're recording photos for time lapse, set your camera to 16 is to 9 aspect ratio so that it easily matches with the video sequence. Now we will export the time lapse in whatever settings we want. So this is the final result we have got here. So that's all for today guys. If you like this video, put a thumbs up and if you have any question, please comment below in my comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video.